Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome. My name is Deborah Andrus, and on behalf of the International Clarinet Association, Clarinet Enthusiast Committee, and my co-host, Michelle Anderson, we welcome you to Clarinet Playing Together Again. It's our second virtual conference um, for lovers of all things clarinet. And I'd like to extend a special welcome to Denise Ganey, our president of the International Clarinet Association, and Diane Barger, Barger, excuse me, uh, president-elect of the International Clarinet Association. They will be our masterclass presenters today. And on behalf of all of our committee of clarinet enthusiasts, we thank you for joining us today for three hours of play along classes and ensembles new learning classes, and I also want to welcome uh, Megan Taylor, who is joining us to do some yoga for clarinetists in the middle of our event. And a special thank you to Jessica Harry, who is our Director of Operations for the International Clarinet Association, who um, is going to speak a little bit about the International Clarinet Association, but she has done all the things. She will get you in your breakout room. She will be the person who, if you have a problem, she, uh, she can fix it. So Jessica, over to you. Hi everybody, thank you so much for being here and thank you again to the Clarinet Enthusiast Committee for their incredible work in planning this event. Um, we have such a great event planned for you, and I know many of you um, may be joining us for an event for the first time. If you've not heard about us, we are a clarinet community, about 4,300 strong all over the world. We have members um, from, from Asia all the way to the U.S. And, and South America, Europe. We've got a great community of people, and we do stuff like this all the time. So um, if you have questions about membership and you're curious, um, feel free to send me an email. Um, you can also find out some information about membership benefits on our website. I also want to do a special plug and invite you to join our annual summer conference called Clarinet Fest. This summer it's being held in Reno, Nevada at the end of June. Um, it's an incredible event. We have, you know, between 1,500 to 2,000 members uh, come in for the event. Incredible performances, concerts, lectures, master classes, and an amazing exhibit hall full of all the goodies you could ever want to get your hands on as a clarinet player. So. Um, if you want more information about that, clarinet.org, uh, definitely check that out. Um, and I will be here throughout the session. If you have any issues whatsoever, um, please, you can ping me or just, you know, if, if, if everybody's gone to the rooms and you're not sure where to go, just, you know, say my name and I will hear you and I will help you, okay? Um, with that said, uh, I'm excited to get Debbie in here for our warm up. If you need the sheet music for the warm up, it's on the event page on the website. I'm going to put that in the chat so that you can access that. Um, should be the first thing you see there. And uh, with that said, Debbie, I will let you get started. I'll get myself out of here. <laughs> Terrific. So if you would all please grab your clarinets and we're going to just do a little group warm up. Um, I was inspired actually by Al Woy, who did this with his clarinet choir last year. Um, and you'll be uh, seeing him later. I want to remind everybody on the committee to mute yourself so that um, we don't hear each other. I mean, it'd be great if we could play together on Zoom. Wouldn't that be amazing? Um, as I said, my name is Debbie Andrus, and I teach at Lehigh University, and I play in the Allentown Symphony. Um, the warm-ups we're going to be doing today are from my book called The Shalima Register. I just put it in the chat. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do have a cold, so I apologize in advance um, for, oh dear. I think I just did something bad. Okay, I somehow I started admitting people. All right, I'm giving that back to you, Jessica. <laughs> so we are going to start. Um, my belief is that a warm up is not a super long event, but it is a daily event. And for me, um, having uh, four to five elements is really important. So I believe in working on breathing, tone, finger movement in a scalar motion, finger movement in uh, jumps or arpeggiated motion and articulation. So that is my plan. I've set my timer because I only have uh, 15 minutes, but Jessica, please like push me if I am going over because I do tend to go on and on, not a, because I love to teach. So, okay. The very first thing we're gonna do is uh, do some long tones. 
And what I think that is really helpful is to breathe out before you breathe in. And I'm going to do it at a little bit of a faster tempo. But what I challenge my students to do is to um, actually to go slower in their warm in their long tone warm up, but then to work on speed with their finger motion. So with this, we're going to breathe out for four counts, breathe in for four counts, and then we're going to play the first four notes of the chromatic scale starting on low E. Go ahead and play it forte with your very best sound and my evil yelling metronome lady will tell us what to do. So here we go. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Breathe One, in. Two, three, four. One, two, rest I actually use to both breathe out and breathe in and it's not exactly four counts sometimes it'll be two counts sometimes it'll be six counts it really depends on you and your body um so you can do what you like um so some people go all the way up their whole entire chromatic scale all the way up as high as they can play um but I'm going to jump ahead and do a different one next I always do my breathing out and my breathing in but this one is working on a scale. I um, find that a lot of my students, especially students with um, attention issues, they would much rather do something and play their long tones. So moving their fingers is a much more engaging thing to do. So I started with the F scale and I'm going to go a little bit slower. That was 72, but let's challenge ourselves to go at 66. And what I'd like you to do is get rid of all of your air in this last note, breathe a nice full breath in. If you need a breath out and in, in this four bars, that five, oh, excuse me, four beats, go ahead and do that. And then we'll play um, going back up again. And then our relaxing measure is here. All right, breathe out. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, take in a four beat breath I don't always have as much air as I did the first time through so it's just fun to notice what is working what is challenging and what you need to do um the next long tone warm-up is uh moving our fingers in an arpeggio Should and... we unmute? oh all set <laughs> um we're going to do a long tone arpeggio based on a David Weber warm up. Um, and what I would say is we're going to do the same breathing and then just challenge yourself to hold this last note, maintaining a beautiful sound. So as you decrescendo, think about bringing those corners in and maintaining a really fast airspeed all the way to the end of that measure. Um, I challenge most of my students to try to play this for eight counts. Now, one other caveat, if you feel dizzy at all, please stop. Do not pass out while you're doing these. That is not the idea. So I'm going to go back to 72 just because this is a little bit more challenging since we're thinking about a couple more elements. All right. All right. Here we go. Breathe out for four. One, two, three, four. Breathe One, in. Two, three, four. One, two, three. levels you can have a tuner out you could do it with a drone a drone meaning to play have a tuner sound either the bottom note or the middle tonic note and kind of make sure that your intonation is beautiful on your thirds and your fifths so there's all kinds of different things you can do with this the last 
long tone warm up I'd like to do is one based on Avram Galper's warm ups. And it takes F major and goes down and then a D minor. With this one, we could do a breathing. I'm going to go down to 60 because I think that taking our time really beautifully between these 12ths, making sure your air is nice and fast to go over the break on both of these. And we won't do it today, but you could do it forte the first time, piano the second time, or you could do any dynamics that would be useful to you. So go ahead, we're going to breathe out for four and in for four, and we'll just play this line one time. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. There's my alarm. One, breathe in. Two, three, four. One, two, So this one is great. It's a very melodic warm up, and I love to do that when I'm trying to get my breaks really beautiful and my tone to be consistent from the low register up into the higher registers. The last one, and we're not going to have time to do, but it's an abato exercise, and it just gets us up into the altissimo, and it works on fifths and fourths. And um, for that, I really love working on this with students who are working on legato fingers. So, but with that, we got to jump ahead and move on to some finger motion. <clears throat> so the first one we're going to do is this one. And this I use in a couple different ways. We could just play it straight through C major, moving our fingers, you know, just nice and even with a metronome, or we could start slow, do the next measure medium and the last measure fast, or you could play it just as many times as you possibly could in one breath, whatever feels good to you. We're starting with C major and then we're going to do F major. So I won't use a metronome. And I'm going to do it first. We'll do it twice. Once just moving our fingers um, nice and evenly all the way across. And let's breathe out for two counts before we start and in for two counts so i'll just put those little breath marks out for two in for two here we go breathe out breathe in So you can hold the last note for two counts, four counts, eight counts, whatever feels good to you. But the idea of this one is to get our tone beautiful, our breathing relaxed and thoughtful, and our fingers to just get moving. So now let's try it once going slow, medium, and fast. Same thing, breathe out. In. <sighs> That works for you is really fun. So now we're going to go ahead and move down. Oops, I have to stop annotating so I can move this down. Hey, my breaths move with me. Beautiful. All right, let's do the same thing on the F scale, but this time let's do it as long as we can. And we're going to go slow, medium, and faster mm -hmm. at your own pace. Here we go. Breathe out as many times as you want. In. <sighs> idea is just to get those fingers moving with the best tone that we possibly can have. Great. Now we're moving on and we're going to do a full range F scale, which encompasses our five note scale on F and our five note scale on C. We go up to our B flat and then all the way down with E natural at the bottom. So here we go. We'll do this one just as written, and I'll actually put our metronome on, and we'll do it at 72. Out for two and in for two. Here we go. Breathe out. One, two, three, and. 
And just for fun, let's go ahead and move it up to 88 and do it again. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. One, two, So now I'm going to stop sharing only so that it erases my annotations and then I can share again and you can we can go on to the last two components because I'm getting close to the end of my time. So here is some arpeggios. So I would like to just do one of these. Let's go ahead and do the F major that goes up to the throat tone A. We're going to stay slow, but we want to get our fingers moving our air to be just as beautiful as we've been doing it. So we'll do our breathe out and breathe in. And you want to aim your phrasing all the way to that low F. Breathe out. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three. One of um, my beliefs is to play my warm up with my biggest and my best sound. It really encourages my fingers and everything to just sort of get moving. So our last component of this warm up is going to be articulation. And um, I like working on repeated note articulation before changing note articulation. So we'll just do this nice F major here. And if you're not comfortable with 16ths, you can just do two eighths or you can just tongue quarters, whatever feels good to you. We're going to go around 88. Um, we're going to breathe out for two and in for, uh, you know what, when we go faster, let's breathe out for four and in for four. It just gets us set up a little better. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now we've done all the components. We've done our tone and breathing. We've done our conjunct motion of the fingers. We've done our disjunct motion of the fingers with our arpeggio. We've done our some repeated note articulation. The last thing I would add if I did have time, which I don't, um, would be to do some slurring of our five note scales and then some articulation of our five note scales. <laughs> Somebody is working on it. Thank you. Um, and then to extend that all the way up through an octave. So all of these things are on the warm up handout. And um, with that, I think we're ready to um, move on to our first breakout rooms, Jessica.